Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today, in this video, I will show you how to change your profile picture when it comes to ChatGPT. Now, you can do this on ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4. So, as you can see, I am currently logged in with my Gmail account. So, there is two different ways how you can change your uh, profile picture. It depends how you logged in the ChatGPT. So, First of all is if you logged in with your Gmail account, as you can see right here, I logged in with my G Gmail account, then I can basically change the picture based on my Gmail email, right? So I need to go to my Gmail account. I need to change my profile picture on my Gmail account. However, if you just logged in with a, a simple email address, what you will need to do is you will need to do this right here. As you can see, this is from uh, Emir on OpenAI forum. And I would just like to thank you, Emir, for sharing this. But as you can see, you need to go and you need to create the same email that you created ChatGPT. You need to create a Gravatar WordPress account. And then you need to create basically a Gravatar account. It's pretty much the same as WordPress account. If you already have one, just log into it, which is right here. You click on it and you'll basically land on this. You'll need to sign up with the same email that you sign up with ChatGPT2. Then after that, you will need to go to the top right profile, uh, you know, top right of your profile, select add an image and then select the image you want to upload and save changes. Now, after a while, you will have the picture in the ChatGPT. Now, as you can see in his case, he had to wait for one hour for the changes to be applied. Usually it's up to 24 hours, but as you can see, here is the result. This is what you can do and this is how you can change your ChatGPT profile picture. So you have two different choices. One is if you logged in with a normal email, go and sign up to Gravatar with that same email. Second one is if you uh, went with Gmail on your, or if you signed up and log in with your Gmail, then you will need to use your Gmail account. That's pretty much how it works. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video.